Hello everybody, welcome back to Switch here with some video about supplementation. And actually in this video we're just going to talk about the Himalayan salt. So this is a supplementation for a healthy lifestyle. Yes, Himalayan salt. So I'm just going to talk about the benefits of drinking salt water regularly. So we have really nice bullet points. I will give you the link in the description below if you want to read this through by yourself and maybe dive into more into this subject. But basically, we are going to focus on the keeps the body hydrated, provides vitamins and minerals, clear the skin, better sleep and proper digestion. I'm actually going to read whole article because it's not really long and it's like loads of benefits from reading this uh, whole a lot. So let's start and jump to it. Uh, it's starting from the salt water detox and I didn't put that on the first glance just simply because the uh, detox uh, sign might be a little bit misleading for some people because probably the most of the people who will read the detox they will think like this is like one thing off or like you're doing this on the monthly basis or maybe when you're feeling bad and then you think it's a time to doing the detox. Basically, it's called salt water detox, but we are actually trying to detoxify our body on the daily basis. So we are just going to drink this on the daily uh, basis. So this article is really amazing. Uh, it's obviously, it's a ton of stuff out there on the internet and a subject you will be looking forward to. There is going to be a massive, um, you know, stuff to looking forward to. So I just read through a little bit and I just choose this one. But... Obviously, you can find something else, something different and more about uh, the subject you are looking forward to. Alrighty, so I'm uh, just going to read then. Uh, so the best way to experience the benefits of Himalayan salt is to make salt water. Um, it is water that is fully saturated with natural salt. Drinking this water helps in balancing the pH levels in the body, flushes out toxin, improves your energy and keeps you hydrated. So as you can see, like loads of benefits already. Flushes out toxin, improves your energy and keeps your hydrated. The ions in the pure salt and the trace minerals enter into the cell and pulling uh, and pull toxin from them. So that's great. Salt so water is primarily made with Himalayan salt, which is priced for its healing qualities. Himalayan salt is considered to be the purest form of salt on earth. Hand cut slabs of this pinkish salt are obtained from natural deposits from uh, found that, excuse me, found in the Himalayan foothills on the Punjab region of the Pakistan. It's mined and washed by hand and it's natural and unprocessed. So that's really important. The salt is not processed at all, which is why it is famously called the purest salt on the earth. So Himalayan salt is naturally rich in iodine, which releases unique energy when soaked in water. Iron oxide gives the salt the distinct, uh, the distinctive color. Himalayan salt is also rich up, rich in up to eighty-four traces, uh, trace minerals such as potassium, magnesium, and calcium. So it's like we actually drinking like the whole uh, Mendeleev table in a good way. So 84 trace minerals such as potassium, magnesium and calcium. So the potassium and magnesium and calcium, so obviously those three are really important. It doesn't matter what, on which diet you are, but actually I am right now on the keto diet. So that's why, um, that's why I am actually trying to do the videos with my supplementation, what's, what I'm doing on a daily basis. On the keto diet, it's really important to drink the salty water just simply due to the fact we are lacking on the salt from the carbs because we are not really eating that much carbs anymore. We actually, on the beginning of the keto, we are not really eating carbs at all. And then we're just adding uh, slightly more than 20, 14, maybe even to 60 or even 80 grams of carbs. But the point is, obviously, we are lacking the potassium um, and the salt just from those carbs because we are not getting the carbs uh, that frequently or... In some cases, we are not getting carbs at all. Um, so yeah, we just lucky you know that's pot potassium. Um, then we obviously need extra magnesium and calcium. Calcium usually you will get this from the tablets just before the bed because the magnesium is really important to have it just against the cramps, especially if you uh, on the healthy diet, but also if you uh, working out on the regular basis, obviously you need the magnesium as well just before the bed is the best way to uh, eat that. And I will touch upon it a little bit more later on in the later videos because obviously the magnesium is, I guess, everybody using uh, just on the daily basis as a supplementation and this uh, playlist is going to be about the diet, healthy lifestyle and supplementation. So 
yeah, uh, pretty much that's it. Okay, though. So how does salt water uh, how does salt water remove toxins? So uh, salt water is electrolyte dense brine. Electrolytes are essential for life, assisting the kidneys in eliminating waste and toxin. They carry a charge which ionize when dissolved in the water. When the water and salt are mixed together, the negative ions of water molecules combine with the positive ions of salt and vice versa. This way, the uh, electrical charge, the minerals in this drink can be easily absorbed. So that's the most important and crucial part. The minerals in this drink can be easily absorbed by the body, helping maintain the fluid balance, sending signals from one cell to another. So yeah, basically, one more time, we can easily absorb this um drink which is great because it just is the absorb right <laughs> so yeah uh the, i just don't really want to talk a little bit i, I don't really want to talk more about this because that's going to be uh mentioned uh two or three times in just in the next chapter of this article so we're just going to uh, leave this for now uh how to prepare the salt water so um before i will read that th this through we can actually buy something like the uh, grinder. So as you can see, I just uh, prepared already uh, some pictures of the grinder. So basically the salt water, um, I'm from UK. So in the UK, you can get it from some home bargains. Just uh, don't look at those prices like eight quid, 10 quid or whatever it is, 30 quid. You can actually get this from one pound or I believe so from one to two pounds. I don't remember how much I paid, but I believe so I paid just one pound for each just for one, like, uh, I'm just looking the, oh yeah, yeah, we got here. So this is like one pound. Obviously the prices vary, depends where you're buying this, but you can get it from the home bargains. I mean, for example, that was for one pound, but right now it might be for two pounds, but you will get uh, this really cheap. So just don't spend eight quid for it because there is no going to be like extra benefit of you spending more money on it. That doesn't work this way, <laughs> does it? So um, just keep that in mind. So I just showing you like the best, um, way to buy it so it's going to be a uh, home, home bargains um maybe some other savers pounds shops whatever just try to get this for like really cheap uh, i think for uh, like from one pound to two pounds uh, two pounds maximum just don't overpay for it because there is no point to pay more for that okay so how to pre prepare the salt water so if you already know we can buy the grinder so we just grinding as much as we like it and you're just good to go and you can drink this on the morning on the evening on the afternoon whatever uh, for the throughout for the whole day i'm actually drinking this every day every day doesn't matter i'm on diet or i'm not on diet whatever on the morning and my way of doing it is i just um, basically grinding as much as possible as i like it and then I'm just drinking with the half of the water. So it's going to be a mug, half of the water, lots of salt, and actually combine this with the vitamin C and vinegar, apple cider, cider, apple vinegar. And um, uh, this is not the cider, it's not the cider, it's just the apple. Mm, just forget the word, not the cider. Cider is the beer, right? So we're not going to put the beer, we're just going to put the. Uh, or maybe it's called apple cider vinegar. I don't know. I've, I don't know. It's just called the apple vinegar or apple cider. Well, it's from the side. It's from the apples, which there are ciders, right? So I think I confused myself, but you know what I mean exactly. So basically, <laughs> we're just putting the apple cider vinegar uh, into it. And um, actually, just two tablespoons. I will explain the value of the uh, vinegar, the apple vinegar, in the next videos. And I will explain also the vitamin C as well, the benefits of actually drinking this on the daily uh, basis and before you start your day and before you eating anything else. So you're just drinking this mixture and the reason why, but it's going to be on the next videos. Okay, so we're just gonna jump into that, how, uh, how to prepare the salt water. So you can do like this. I never done it, but uh, actually I think this is really a good way to do it as well because salt water is easy to prepare find a glass a jar with a plastic lid every morning mix 32 ounces of water with one teaspoon of salt water mixture and drink it throughout the day the salt water mixture should be diluted do not drink straight concentration obviously not uh, do not store salt water in the metal containers. Uh, so this is some just uh, information the high salt concentration can cause wear on some metal project uh, products uh, fill one fourth of the jar with Himalayan salt and rest of 
it with water. After sealing the jar, shake and let it rest overnight. In the morning, you will notice that uh, the water will be fully saturated. Uh, if there is still some undissolved salt left at the bottom, leave it for some more time. Once all the salt has dissolved, it's ready to be used. So this is really good and great, but we, you have to keep that in mind. We need to leave this for overnight. Um, so basically, this is good if you really want to drink um more uh, salt uh, more salt water during the day after you finish the work and after you finish the workout um but i what i'm doing usually i'm doing i'm drinking just one in the morning but um then i if i'm fancy to drink after like really a hard cardio or whatever workout um then i just you know doing the same process which is basically just grinding again the salt into the water and i usually uh pouring like cold water with like really boiling hot water so that salt is going to be like dissolved really fast almost like uh, melting like a sugar and you can just drink it through uh, so it's obviously up to you but i think this is like really gr great and brilliant idea to prep um in the jar and just left this jar and uh, if you really want to uh, drink more uh, salt water you already prep and ready to go so benefits of drinking salt water regularly is that uh, keeps the body hydrated provides vitamins and minerals clear the skin better sleep and proper digestion so this is that's why i just choose this article because we just having like lots of bulletproof uh, bullet points excuse me uh, bullet points in one place and this is like really great and amazing thing so i'm just going to read this throughout actually going to read all whole article um because it's just amazing and actually i already learned like a couple of things which i didn't but i will just touch upon in a minute so it keeps the body hydrated so water contains the electrolytes and required minerals to function and keep your energy levels up so that's great though drinking plain water is good for flushing out toxin but in the process so uh, drinking plain water is good for flushing out toxins but also you have to keep that in mind if you're drinking the water you're flushing out the minerals uh, from the body minerals it may also dilute and eliminate some important minerals and it does uh, so water helps in hydrating your body as well replenishing those minerals that may be lost so keep that in mind just guys if you're just drinking the normal water constantly and especially you are those type of people who are just trying to get to some like healthy lifestyle uh, because you are uh, obese or something and then you're just hydrating with the normal water that does, that doesn't gonna cut it basically what you that's going to do you will have much more cramps uh, afterwards and you will feel much more tired and will be, will be sort of other uh, no good things just simply do the fact we are just flushing out our minerals so keep that in mind you just don't really want to drink just the normal water because and the normal water doesn't really give you any uh, benefits that's why you need to drink the salt water on daily basis usually also with the vitamin c and the apple cider vinegar uh, but i will touch upon this on the next videos why it's so important though um so another thing is provide vitamins and minerals vitamins and minerals are the building blocks for our body they have various roles to play in the body like repairing uh, tissues healing wounds boosting the immune system and strengthening the bones so oh my god so many things right in my site is rich in 84 trace minerals which we already um, read before so like i said so i was just joking about like we drink it a whole mandalay table but that's actually right isn't it and having it in the form of soil water makes the absorption of these minerals by body easier and uh, we have another benefit which is the clearing the skill the minerals present in himalayan salt help us fight many skin problems so maybe that's why i don't have any uh, because actually drinking this on the daily basis so we have the zinc is used to repair tissue obviously we can zinc we can get from the for example tomatoes as well or a seeds uh, which is the uh, sesame seed i believe so supposed to have the zinc a lot of zinc um but uh we're just trying to give something from the top of my head which which we can get some extra access on the zinc uh, obviously you can just buy the tablets as well which is no bad idea at all um repair tissues and prevents acne and then we have the iodine and chromium help with skin infections so chromium obviously uh, you can get uh, as well from the tablets because uh, the usually the chromium uh, in the food it's like really really small amounts on this and uh, so you you can get this from the tablets i will touch upon everything 
uh, what I'm using on a daily basis, which is the Zinc and Chromium in the next videos. Not like right now, not like really soon, but at some point there is going to be on this channel. Uh, sulfur is now to keep the skin surface clean and smooth. So yeah, I've never really been like thinking about the cl uh, clearing the skin and everything like that. But also with that being said, my clear uh, my skin was always clear. So maybe because I'm just drinking the you know s uh, salt water. Uh, I think so. Uh, better sleep. Salt so water helps you relax and calm uh, the entire nervous system, which I didn't really have any idea about this, to be honest, though. Uh, the mineral control, uh, the stress hormone, adeline, promoting better sleep. So that's great, though. But sometimes, obviously, you might get some extra um, supplementation, like it's called 5-HTP, I believe so, which I'm using as well. Um, so that's also something if you struggle with uh, sleep and I will also do the video about this at some point. Okay, uh, right now we're just going to jump to some stuff which I didn't know and which I didn't use. But with that being said, I will like to try it because there are some really uh, cheap stuff to buy it out and maybe they actually will help me out with uh, better breathing because sometimes actually I have like a problem, difficulty to, to sleep. So we're just going to start from the benefits of using a neti pot, which... Oh, this picture is, <laughs> looks like really dodgy, right? And you don't really want to do this, but I guess uh, by reading this, they actually convinced me to try it out. And also, it's not really expensive thing. So um, I think I will just buy it and then I will just uh, share my thoughts about it later on. Uh, so reduce or eliminate seasonal allergies. So I mean, actually, I don't have any seasonal allergies, but if you do, you already know what you can do. You can just clear your nose with the salt water, with Himalayan salt water. Prevent or uh, or prevent or allay, elevate a sinus infection. So even if you don't have the infection, but still you can just clear, right? And then clear post on a post, excuse me, post post nasal drip. So I think there is a value for better quality sleep, even if you don't have any of those, like you don't have an infection and your nose, you don't really feel like it's um, sort of blocked or anything. I think. That might have the value, but I don't know because I never tried it though. Salt for respiratory problems. Salt therapy is a process which uh, utilizes pure Himalayan salt to treat respiratory disease. So uh, using an antipod with the help of warm salty water runs through your nasal cavities and cleans them, uh, which I mentioned already. Himalayan salt kills bacteria and bonds with the uh, contamination to eliminate them. So I just don't know. I mean, sounds really good and I really want to try it. Uh, just wonder how often you need to use this. I already checked on the Amazon, so there's like a bottle. Uh, there's, uh, they're like for 10 pounds. Um, obviously, you don't need to use some extra stuff they're trying to give you because at the end of the day, the point is just to have the water, a water bottle with that nozzle. And then we're just going to obviously pour our um, warm water with the... Uh, Himalayan salt in it. So that's good to know. Uh, bath soak. Uh, so I never tried with the Himalayan salt. I'm actually uh, much more convinced into the ice bath, which uh, you probably heard of and uh, about the Wim Hof method. I used to done this a year ago. <laughs> so that means, yeah, right. I, I need to start again from the beginning because if you haven't done for like a, um, I think I believe so the last time I've done it like six, seven months. Right, maybe a little bit longer, so my body is not um, used to anymore. Um, but this is about the warm warm buff, actually. So uh, I will touch upon maybe later videos about the ice buff because that's actually giving you lots of benefits and cold showers. Um, but right now we're just talking about the soaking. Your body in the Himalayan brine bath can do wonders to rejuvenate your skin through the process of dermal absorption. Your skin soak up all the minerals that provide different benefits. And even if you don't really care about your skin, that's going to be some extra benefits from it. Uh, for instance, chromium fights acne, zinc prevents scarring, and sulfur keeps your skin smooth. The magnesium absorbed through the Himalayan salt can help in uh, shooting cramped muscle and soft tissues. So despite the fact uh, we are going to probably get some tablets before going to bed, which is the magnesium and zinc, usually um, people who are, uh, you know, uh, doing the workouts. And uh, so getting that this against the cramps, but I think absorbing the to the whole body, the Himalayan salt, that might be something 
really great, which I never done it before, but and I think I will do at some point, and then I will share my thoughts about it, how I feel it. Uh, probably it's really great thing doing like um on the weekly basis, like once in the week. Um, that's what I do at least with the ice bath. So uh, on the day when I'm not working out and I want to regenerate my body, um, I'm just jumping into the ice water just to regenerate the muscles. Uh, for the most powerful detox result, make a Himalayan salt brine for the bath, dissolving one to two pounds of Himalayan salt in the warm bath. So like plenty of salt, but um, maybe you want to do this like once in the month, who knows, right? And then just cozy, nice bath just to feel uh, better, just to make your body and muscles, you know, uh, nice and good to go. Uh, so healthier salt choices, uh, healthier choices than the regular table salt. So obviously they're trying to tell you right now to just swap the, any other salt if you've been using the other salt and that makes sense. Uh, just don't use any other salt. If you never use Himalayan salt, just use Himalayan salt for every purpose in your daily um, routine. Whatever you cook in and drink in the salt water and whatever, just use the one and only Himalayan salt. A healthy choice that a regular table salt Himalayan salt is actually one of the best natural healers. The anti uh, caking and flowing agents can cause sickness. Himalayan Celtic salt and real salt that you don't using that um, are a healthful whole salt that can replace industrial salts in your diet. So obviously you don't want to use any other salt because even if you're not using any other salt, you will use that, you know, uh, bad salt. And the reason why, because the, every food uh, will have uh, that salt and especially the processed food. But also with that being said, you don't really want to eat the processed foods, do you? But um, this video is not what supposed to you eat. This is video. It's just about the Himalayan salt. But I'm just trying to say, you know, if you will eat the processed food, you will get that, you know, white normal salt. Um, and uh, it's a lot of salt and sugar also with any food you're eating, like a bread, potatoes or whatever, salt and sugar is everywhere. Um, the salt, which we don't really want to eat. And the last but not least, Himalayan salt lamps. The lovely Himalayan salt lamps not only adds beauty to the dingy corners of your house, but also purifies the air. And this is really amazing because I didn't really know about this and I will buy and test one um soon and then i will just let you know how i feel uh i'm just going to finish this and then just add my thoughts about it so these lamps attract the moisture from the air and due to the warmth of their surfaces the water evaporates quickly uh, the process of evaporating creates negative ions that react with the pollen dust dirt pollutions and allergens which carry a positive charge and neutralize them so what i try to say obviously everybody have like your routine with the clear clearing the house and home and i think that might be like really great especially if you're spending lots of time on the computer just uh, putting on your desk just to clear even more dust uh, from uh, from the place so despite the fact we are cleaning and everything looks spot on and nice um, I think still it's really great to have something which is going to actually um, create, create the negative ions that react with the pollen, dust and dirt and the pollution in your workplace or your whatever uh, just daily routine place because that's going to give extra edge to better sleep um, actually I checked something on the Amazon already as well so the prices um, I'm from UK, obviously, so we are talking about like uh, 14 pounds. Um, I don't know what's going on because we have like a lamp, one, two kilo and two, three kilo. I have no idea. I was this is like they're, they're just going to be used at some point or whatever. I mean, I never done it. I never use it. Uh, but I think this is like um, not expensive to buy it and use it. So I probably will buy one and test one. Uh, what I want to show you guys before I finish, it just, we have the like um, emits negative ions, purify air, uh, reduce stress apparently. Um, also we have reduced allergy and improved sleep and improved breathing. So I like lots of benefits. Looks like uh, some uh, a big uh, egg, uh, ostrich egg. Um, and. Uh, Apparently it's like really good thing. So why not? I might, I might try it. I might just put on my uh, desk 
and then I will share some thoughts about it. Not like I'm just going to buy this, you know, first day and just going to tell you, like, oh my god, it's so amazing after one hour, so probably not. But after like a, at least week, two weeks maybe, or maybe a month, we'll see a difference. Um, so I definitely want to check that uh, Netty uh, pot and the Himalayan lamp. And um, I never really knew about this, this red right now. And I think that might be something good, just simply because I'm the user of, you know, soul water on the daily basis. And I know the benefits of uh, hydration and getting like a better sleep and proper digestion, because that's what I've been looking the most, like a, uh, keeping the body hydrated and the proper digestion. So I, I know the benefits of using this. So that's that's why I'm convinced to try more products or more in any other different way to even apply more uh, to my uh, healthy lifestyle uh, to get the benefits from the uh, salt water or to get the benefits from the Himalayan uh, salt. Alrighty, so thank you much guys for uh, watching, for listening to me, if somebody actually was listening. And um, that was about the Himalayan salt and the purpose of it and the benefits to drinking on a daily basis, the salt water. And uh, I hope somebody like it, if you like it, can press the like button why not and i will try to do not like on the daily basis but when i will be like you know happy to do it like today i'm happy uh, you know i want to do this today so I i'm doing um the reason behind it uh, this video i already mentioned or not so like i said i'm already on the keto diet and i just want to do step by step one playlist on my channel despite the fact that i'm like a gamer and it's like a 90 percent gaming channel I just want to do um, the stuff which I'm using on daily basis. Uh, so it's going to be a lot of about um, supplementation. And despite the fact, whatever diet you are or not, you can just learn a little bit about something else if you didn't learn already. Okay, so thank you very much, guys. One more time for watching. Uh, have a nice day or evening. It depends when you're watching. And take care and bye for now. Bye, 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 bye.